So let's now take a look at operators and expressions in more detail. So let's start with arithmetic operators. So there are five arithmetic operators. Yes, there are five. We have addition with the plus sign. We have subtraction with the minus sign. We have multiplication where we use the star or asterisk on your keyboard. And then we have division with our slash. So what's number five? That would be the modulus operator or sometimes also called the remainder operator. And we can use the percent sign to compute that. So an arithmetic expression is constructed by using these arithmetic operators and then numbers on them. And there are two types of operators to consider. Those that only use one operand or one number would be unary operators. So these would be things like the negation sign would be one such operator. So that's a unary operator. And then operators that use two operands or have uh, two numbers are called binary operators. So all the operators that we listed above here would be considered binary operators. Now Java does use the operator precedence rules for determining the order of the operations. So if you don't remember that, maybe you remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. If not, you might want to refresh yourself with that. But Java uses that order of precedence. So parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. Does that ring any bells? Maybe. Hopefully it does. Now it's worth noting here that multiplication, division, and modulus are all part of the same precedence levels. And those have a higher level of precedence than addition or subtraction. And then the associativity of our operators is read from left to right. So when we have like a, an arithmetic expression with addition and subtraction, we look at the left side and go to the right. So whichever is the first operator read would be the first one that we perform on. So like if we had, for example, put um, you know, one plus two uh, minus one, then what we would do, this actually looks like a division symbol, so let me fix that. There we go. That looks better. So if I did one plus two minus one, I would read from left to right. So I would read the one plus two first. So this would be the same thing as saying three minus one, and then we would evaluate the minus sign and we would get two. Let's take a closer look at expressions. Now, if all of the operands in an expression are integers, then the expression would be an integral expression. And likewise, if all the operands are floating point numbers, then the expression would be a floating point expression or a decimal expression. So whenever we uh, do computations with these expressions, the result type would simply match the type of the operands. So for example, if we add two integers together, then we're going to get an integer. If we multiply two doubles together, then we're going to get a double as our result. But what if we have an expression that has different types? So what if I have an integer and a double in the same expression? We call such an expression a mixed expression, so one where the operands are of different types. Well, if we get a mixed expression, there are some rules that we can follow for evaluating mixed expressions. So the first rule is if the operator has the same types of operands, then the resulting type is the type of the operand. That's kind of what we just talked about earlier. If you do something with two ints, it's going to be an int. If you do something with two doubles, it's going to be a double. So the second rule is the one we need to follow. If the operator has different types, the integer is treated as a floating point number. So the idea is that we simply treat the integer as floating point, and then we have two doubles, or two floating points, I should say, and we would get a floating point result. So let's take a look at an example. So let's say we have three divided by two plus 5.0. So the first thing we got to recognize is by the order of operations, we're going to do the three divided by two part. So we're going to take care of this part first. So when we perform that calculation, that's going to end up being one. Yes, three divided by two is one when dealing with integer math. It's worth noting that even though three divided by two is technically 1.5, because we're dealing with an integer, the decimal part of it is cut off. 
We don't round up. We don't round down. Well, we, we kind of round down. It's more like we kind of just cut off the decimal place. So yes, 3 divided by 2 is 1 in integer math. So you might want to get some practice with integer math if you're not comfortable with it just yet. But now look at this expression. So we have 1 plus 5.0. So 5.0 is our double, and 1 is our integer. So using rule 2 from above, we treat the 1 as a double or a floating point number. So when we do this calculation, our result is going to be 6.0. Now, let's say we don't want to follow those rules. Maybe we want to decide exactly which values are which types. Now, we can use a cast operator to force the value to have some specific type. And we call this type casting. So let me give you the format for this. So we would still have our expression as normal, but the difference is what we include to the immediate left of our expression. So what we have here is our data type. So whatever type we want our expression to be, surrounded by parentheses. So let me give you an example. So let's say I have 7.5 and then I have int in front of it. So that we're type casting 7.5 to an int. What this means is when we evaluate this expression, it ends up being just the integer seven. It doesn't end up being 7.5 anymore. So we're just basically converting it to an integer. And what this does for us, it allows us to correctly divide two integers. Because as we said before, an int divided by int is an int. So let's say we want to try to divide 7 uh, by 2. Now we would want this to be 3.5. So the way we would do this is we can typecast each of the values, each of the integers, as doubles. So Java now will treat it as 7.0 divided by 2.0. So since we're typecasting both of them, double divided by double is 3.5. Now could I just typecast one of them? Technically, yes, because from our rules earlier, if I have a double and divided by an int, or I have an int and divided by a double, we treat the int as a double. So we could have done that as well. Now, what about this statement right here, taking 7 divided by 2 in parentheses and then typecasting it to a double? This does not work, because if I do the 7 divided by 2 first, that's still an integer divided by an integer. So that's going to evaluate the 3. Then if I typecast that to a double, all that's going to do is just take my 3 and turn it to a double. So now it becomes 3.0, which doesn't really do us any good. So we have to be really careful when we are typecasting.